Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Now, today guys, um, we're gonna do something a little bit bigger than I have done in the past, and that is Bronto Taming. I definitely need a creature to help me harvest up as many berries as quickly as possible, and so I think we need a Bronto, guys. Now, I have been flying all around the island and there are very few Brontos in general but this one is a level 55 female and that is actually the highest level that I've found so far now I could hold on for a stronger Bronto a higher level one since the max level is 150 on this uh, particular solo game but I don't think it's super necessary um this Bronto is really just going to be for uh, basically gathering berries and and riding around on and having fun so it's not gonna be something that I need to be particularly strong or anything like that and so I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead um, I did bring this uh, long neck rifle with me it is just a primitive one can I please get the there we go drink darts all right <laughs> Now, I don't have any berries on me yet, but uh, luckily I can actually um, get them pretty quickly. And I do have the Pteranodon following me, just in case the Bronto decides to be a problem, or the Pteranodon, of course. Ugh. Whoop, that's not what I wanted at all. That will probably get me killed. There we go. Awesome. So if the Bronto can just stay right there, we will be in pretty good shape. Uh, and hopefully it goes down... Whoa, that was unintended. Hopefully it goes down before um, it actually gets in the water. That is my major concern here, is that it will get knocked out before... Uh, or it'll get knocked out while it's in the water and then end up drowning. That's... <sighs> Pteranodon. The following of the Pteranodons can be kind of an issue at times. Uh, in this case, I actually think it's okay. There we go. Since the Bronto was coming for me. These guys do do quite a bit of damage, so it is important to make sure you keep your distance on these guys. Um, my armor's alright, but it's not the best armor in the game at the moment. Let's go up this way. Nope, that is... Ugh. I mean, the Pteranodon has interesting timing, for sure. Okay. Let me just... Nope, not be selected. There we go. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, kind of got it. I just need to watch where the Pteranodon is in relation to me at this point. Um, and then we should be okay. All right. All right, come on, Bronto, you got it. Get stuck in all these trees. This is a perfect place for it to go down, honestly. Um, very, very easy to keep it down in this area. And it definitely is getting stuck on a lot of stuff, which is super helpful as well. And there's not really that much in the area that's that bad either. I do like this. Um, I do wish I had a stronger long neck rifle. I will need to run the lava cave at some point in the near future here, I think, just to uh, get some stronger long neck rifles because this one is just primitive. It is, It does work, but it is not ideal for, for taming, for sure. Um, here we go. This is going to take quite a while. Now, you can also, of course, uh, trap Brontos pretty well. That was just me being a terrible shot right there. There we go. <laughs> Fiomia. Ugh. Mostly, I just have a lot of stuff in my way. Um, the rocks are helpful, but the Pteranodon and the Fiomia, not so much. No. Nope. Nope. Ow. That hurt. N Ugh, okay. Well, that's fine for now. Eh. There we go. This guy should eventually go down. Um, ugh, my gosh. Pteranodon, stop it. The tap to mount feature has never been so frustrating, honestly. Even when I'm taming gigas on the back of a cat's, uh, I don't think I've been this frustrated by it. Um, there we go. Rocks are useful. 
<laughs> this is perfect, guys. I love looking at their little faces. They are very, very cute. Um, yeah, so one of the major reasons that I actually want one of these guys is so we can get a lot of narcotics because I do have a few narcotics. Obviously, I was able to make these drink darts, but uh, it's not as many as I could have. And it would be great if we could get a few more um, in the future here because griffins are about to release, guys, on the mobile game. And I, we're going to need some griffins. So uh, I want to make sure that if they are a knockout time, we have everything we need to uh, properly knock them out and get them all tamed up. There we go. We're getting there. It is running for sure, so it is definitely torpored. Uh, luckily, they are not that hard to chase because they are actually relatively slow creatures. <laughs> I love how it's just like stomping trees out of its way. Now, the only problem is that Rexes do sometimes spawn on this beach, um, and it. Whoop! As do uh, raptors. Okay. <sighs> Gonna have to kill this raptor. There we go. Um. Goodness, and then all of the other things as well. So Rex has spawned on this beach, so we need to be careful of that. Um, we should also be careful of Dillos and Carnos and Aloes and things like that. <sighs> For the most part, I think we will do all right. Once we get this guy down, that is my biggest concern, is just to make sure it gets down. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Beautiful. All right, so now we can kind of scout the area. Make sure that nothing too big or bad is going to come along and ruin our tame here. Um, and then we are going to just tame it up probably with a soothing bomb because Brontos otherwise would take a very long time to tame up. I do see a trike hurting something over there. Okay, it's a Dillo. The trike will win. The trike will absolutely win that. Beautiful. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of this raptor over here. Um, it's a little too close for comfort. Other stuff will probably spawn in on top of the Bronto, but, um, it's good to do what we can to keep the area kind of clear. Come on, you. Get out of the way. Yes, you're very cute. I know. It's a very good thing that the, uh, raptors in the game do not have the TLC pass. Because the TLC pass with the pounce ability that raptors have is the worst thing. I have been playing a lot of Extinction lately. And uh, raptors are really a thing to be avoided uh, in those particular cases. Um, Alright, looks like we're okay. There are a lot of Meganura in the area. As long as there's not too many dead things, we should be fine. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and purchase a Soothing Bomb. Um, I will probably have to purchase more Amber at some point here, since I have not been doing the best job of... Um, actually going out and farming up the ads lately on the solo game because I've had quite a few things to do in terms of keeping up with the servers. That Gigantopithecus is awfully close. Luckily, I am wearing ghillie, so it can't really do much. All right, we're going to go ahead and remote use that item. Beautiful. And then we can just go ahead and pick all of the berries, guys. And I do have... Um, I didn't actually bring any berries with me, but I don't really feel like I need to because I have an enormous amount of time because Brontos, uh, do take quite a while to tame up. And so it is just going to be a berry tame, which is not the best thing for it, obviously. Uh, but it will do the job and it will, it shouldn't take too terribly long to do, um, as far as I know. And we're in a pretty good area with, uh, quite a few plants in the region, so... Hopefully everything will turn out all right. We're going to go ahead and see what we've got here in terms of taming effectiveness and time. All right. Oh, yeah. So this won't take very long at all. I'm going to go ahead and keep picking here because it's going to start using other berries now. Looks like this will actually be a very quick tame. Oh, my goodness. Uh, here we go. Definitely a quick tame. Oh my goodness, guys. That was that was actually much faster than I anticipated. So I might actually be able to keep you guys with me while we get this guy tamed up. Uh, just because it actually isn't going to take that long. I thought it was going to take longer. Um, so I guess while we're waiting for this guy, let's talk a little bit about griffins, guys. Uh, so 
Wardrum has been hyping these up. I do think that they are coming out this week within the next couple of days. Um, yeah, because they said next major update, and Wardrum has been pretty quiet since they announced that. So I think they are working on that major update. They do tend to update every other week or so. It has been a while since they've updated. So I do think that they are going to be updating very, very soon, and that we will then get to see... Uh, these griffins come out in that next update and guys i could not be more excited uh they've been teasing this whole new taming method um that has something to do with respect i guess uh they haven't really released any details on that the team has been uh pretty stubborn about like saying they're not going to release any inform any more information on it at least from what i've seen on their discord but um yeah, guys, I don't know about you, but I am super excited. So once those Griffins come out, we are going to do a whole slew of Griffin episodes. We are going to find out as much information as we can, as quickly as we can, because it's almost like having a new creature, guys, uh, because really, um, why are you, what? Okay, <laughs> really, uh, the Griffin is actually native to the Ragnarok map, and they are typically just a knockout tame on that Ragnarok map, and they are usually not breedable. So I don't know if they'll be breedable, probably not, but uh, we can always check it out and see. But for sure they will be tameable. Um, they will be available on single player, that has been confirmed. So we will be able to get them on the solo game as well as on the unofficial servers that I do run. So we're gonna have so many griffins, guys. We're gonna have like a week of griffin taming. Uh, let's... Let's take care of Carno here. You are way too close for comfort. Get away from my Bronto. Oh, man. I love this Pteranodon. It actually does a very good amount of damage. Um, goodness knows why. It's Its stats really aren't that great. I guess it has a pretty good melee stat at 300-something percent, but uh, <laughs> I just don't expect Pteranodons to be that good. I've been flying around on one on Extinction, and it's pretty awful uh, since the... PC flyers have been nerfed, uh, but the mobile flyers actually are not. So mobile flyers are actually much better than PC flyers, uh, which is kind of a huge relief um, in terms of gameplay, at least for me. Oh my goodness. All right. We are getting there with this guy. He is super fast to tame up, actually. I'm very impressed. We are not getting lucky with any Mejo Berries, however. Uh, let's see here. Can we get mejo berries or crops? Crops would be great. A couple more carrots, maybe. Oh, my goodness. I should have brought something to uh, harvest up berries with other than my hands, but eh, it's not really necessary. This works just fine. So this is something to keep in mind, guys, that if you are just out taming up a Bronto, um, they're actually not that hard to tame. They are large and very useful, but they're not really difficult to tame, especially if you tame them in an area that has a lot of rocks or stuff that they can collide with because it kind of keeps them from hitting you when they can't really reach you. Uh, so as you could see when I was actually taming it, I, I didn't need to use a trap because you just, there's no point. Um, oh my goodness. I'm very excited about this though because this is also a female Bronto, so we will also be able to get eggs and the eggs are going to be very useful for kibbles and things in the future as well as probably taming an avaraptor to uh, help with that kind of thing. And then eventually I'm thinking what I would like to do because Trudons have also been uh, announced to come into the game is I would like to get a male Bronto at some point in the future, hopefully a higher level, but we will see how that happens. And then breed them up because... To tame Trudons, at least in PC, you have to feed them tames. Now, I don't know if they are going to include that in the mobile version, but I highly suspect that they will since it is a island creature and they haven't really changed the taming of island creatures so far as I know um, in terms of what they have from the PC version. So, that means we are going to be breeding up Brontos specifically to tame uh to tame Trudons. So we're going to feed Brontos to Trudons in order to get Trudons tamed up, which is a little bit, yeah, it's, it hurts my heart a little bit that we have to feed tames to the Trudons, but I also want to check the Trudons out when they uh, arrive on the mobile game. And so this is just going to be something that we have to do. Hi, cute little monkey. 
Where are you? Level 15. That's awful. What level are you? Level 90. That's not the worst level in the world, but uh, I feel like I can do better on those guys. Brontos are a little bit harder to find, and especially hard to find one close enough to the hidden lake that I'm not going to, like, uh, hate trying to bring it back. I will probably actually request it back to the hidden lake when we are done here today. All right. Come on, Mr. Bronto. You are almost tamed up here. 94%. Oh, my goodness, guys. Now, its health is not, I don't know. Mid-range Brontos are, are a little bit difficult. I'm not used to their stats. What is really nice is that they have an incredibly high weight, uh, generally. So this one starts out at 1856, and that is just at level 55. So definitely very cool. Um, why do we have a dangerous area warning? That scared me. Oh, that's why. There's a theory up there. Okay, we're fine. And the Bronto's up, which is extra great. Awesome. So I did go ahead and bring a saddle with me. Here we go. Can we... Yes, beautiful. All right, now as you can see, its stats did improve uh, quite a bit with those few extra levels. So now we have over 2k weight, which... Ugh, guys, that's just awesome. This is a huge amount. Um, now the issue is going to be that Bronto's are very slow. <laughs> And they do take a lot of time to get around. Um, and they don't have the ability that Rexes have to walk over rocks. So it, it can be kind of a challenge trying to uh, maneuver them around and actually go places on them. But um, they are super fun. I'm really enjoying this guy so far. All right, come on, Mr. Bronto. Let's try to cross the river here and see if we can hit some berries over there. We are already out of stam. Oh, my goodness. Now, Brontos also do have platform saddles. I am not at the level to make that yet. I'm only level 65, and so I just made a regular saddle for this guy because uh, I don't really need the platform at this time. Later on, I will probably add a platform saddle to it when we get to that level just because, um, well, really just because. There's really no reason to do it, but uh, it does offer a little bit more armor, and sometimes it's nice to have stuff on the back of the Bronto with you like a smithy. Uh, in case you're out around the island poking around and you need to repair some stuff, which would be kind of handy. Okay, I'm going to get up next to all of this stuff. There's not a ton of plants in this area, but at least there are a little bit fewer rocks. There we go. <laughs> the amount of damage that they do is uh, pretty good, but what's really impressive is their AoE, because, like... We just cleared a very large amount of space there. There we go. Now, as far as I know, this is the only attack that they have, this big old tail whip attack. And uh, it's great. It does exactly what it needs to do. So they also are very good at gathering thatch, um, in case you did not know that already. Because... Because they can get take down so many trees at once... Um, I don't even know what's hitting me. It's probably terror birds. It is terror birds. So because they can hit so many trees at once, they actually do a very good job. Oh, that was a 140 galley. That makes me sad. Silly terror birds. I don't even know what I'm hitting now. There it is. Beautiful. All right. So because these guys can hit so many trees at once, um, they actually can gather a ton in terms of thatch. Now, they're not the most efficient thatch harvesters ever, but they do harvest so many trees at once that it kind of makes up for not getting as much thatch per tree as you could get with, say, a Megaloceros or a Dodic or something like that. So they are actually still very, very useful in terms of uh, gathering. Ugh, let's hit everything. Now... This is quite a bit of stuff. Uh, I'm probably not going to keep all of this just because, well, we don't really need all of this. Um, I do want to keep all of the narco berries. That is a thing. I will probably try to fly those back to base. Uh, everything else I'm probably going to drop and request this guy back to base because he is, well, she is so, so large that it is actually um, very difficult to maneuver around on her. Uh, it's going to take a long time if I try to get back to base on the Bronto just as is and 
Ugh. There we go. Now on PC, you can do this as well. This is my favorite part about Brontos, guys. Oh, and she's following, so she's walking. That's amazing. Uh, where is it? There we go. We're taking a little ride on the Bronto. <laughs> Because it's following me. Uh, let's go ahead and have her stop there before she goes way too far. Um, <laughs> that's actually really cool. I did not expect that. Pteranodon, you're in the way. Can you not? Apparently, it, it has to. All right. There we go. So now we're all the way at the tip. <laughs> there we go. Okay, guys. So uh, if you did find yourself enjoying this video at any point, uh, please do remember to hit that like button. It seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. Links to social media are in the video description down below, as is a link to my Patreon, guys, because we do have a Patreon server that I play on. Um, pretty much, I release two content items on it a week, and I play on it uh, a lot more than that. So if you are interested in joining that, you are welcome to join the Patreon. Oh, man. I like that we stay on the head. That is very cool. <laughs> all right, guys. So I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off. This is the iguana. There we go. You got it. <laughs>